God bless you. Welcome to Precept Upon Precept, Line Upon Line. Today's verse that we're going to use is 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 29, where it says, For he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this reason, many are weak and sick among you, and many sleep. Here we see the Apostle Paul writing to the church of Corinth about communion. We know that when Jesus was betrayed on that night, he had a supper, which we call the Last Supper, which we call the Eucharist. He sat there with his disciples, took bread, symbolic of his body, took the wine, the cup of wine, symbolic of his blood, and he said, take, eat, and drink, and do this in remembrance of me. So we see there that the Lord Jesus was using something, an emblem to symbolize his body, which is the bread, and the cup of wine symbolizing his blood. So we see there that Jesus was instituting this holy fellowship that you and I were supposed to partake of. It's supposed to be a table of blessing and not judgment. The Apostle Paul is saying that if we drink it in an unworthy manner or not discerning or distinguishing that it is the Lord's body that's present there. Now it's not his physical body that's present, it's his spiritual body because the day he actually ate this uh, supper with them, the communion with them on that day, he used something to symbolize his body. He never told them, here's my hand, eat it, and cut his wrist and say, here, drink my blood. No, he used an emblem to represent his body. But spiritually speaking, Jesus is at that table. When you and I partake of Holy Communion, we are partaking of His presence and His life, and He is present spiritually. And when we do it, it will bring blessings to our lives. The Bible says many are weak and sick and many have died when they did it in an unworthy manner, in a where they did not reverence the body and not recognize that the Lord's body was present spiritually. His presence is present spiritually. But when you and I partake of it, knowing and understanding with reverence and awe, it will be a table of blessing. If we take it in an unworthy manner, it brings weakness, sickness, and death. But if we partake, in it, partake of it in a proper way, it will bring strength, it will bring health, it will bring life because it is the life of Jesus. The body and the blood is his life. And when we partake by faith, we will receive the life of Jesus, spirit, soul, and body, and we will receive the benefits of the cross of Jesus Christ. God bless you all in Jesus' name.